hi there welcome back to my channel your first time of meeting this amazing face as you see like this <laughs> yes pastor chris oyakilomi yeah i have many of them here on this what i want to say today you know pastors have you guys have been preaching for us for a long time before i was even born yeah you guys might be preaching forgive forgive those who do what 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 against you don't judge we are not judging but you see what uh, joseph in keller just preach you know this message that the man preach and some people are just condemning are you two of or you of all that you divorce your wife you will marry you do the other i didn't divorce or divorce i don't know you are coming to talk about uh, what is happening now in the body of christ see people people do repent people do change this man coming out to talk about that nigerian pastors will go to hell that many of them will not make heaven i will not blame him all. i will not even say a uh, wife coming out to say it because it takes who has repented to say such a thing you know i mean the man is just ranting what is inside his heart because he had discovered that many of them will not make heaven we'll be watching them that like go oh papa oh this oh mommy go that the go but these people that you are seeing like this, hmm. Uh, people don't if you don't serve God for yourself and you keep on fooling holiness, holiness, you meet them at the at the gate of hell. Because for me, I always say that no God for yourself. Don't let people be crowds or whatever it is that have been in faith for a long time sweep you away. Because what in Keller preach, eh? It's not only him. Many pastors are sharing. They are saying pastors don't go to hell. Don't go to hell, do. Stop following them, oh. Follow your own God. Eh? So this video that this man pre I will, the video will be here. Watch the video and hear for yourself. Because sometimes we we'll think that oh no, let's follow our pastors. Let's follow all of them because they are the most people that we need to follow. <clears throat> These days, eh? People that have gone astray. So stop following them. And follow your own Bible and your own God that you know. You can go back for your ancestors and worship it, no problem. Eh? I don't say don't do, do what you know that is right in front of God. Because because of this spiritual matter, things are coming out now a lot. Watch. The enemy of a policeman is a policeman. The enemy of a pastor is a pastor. And when Jesus said a man's enemy shall come from his own household. Sometimes we don't understand the meaning of that scripture. Sometimes we are looking for it. We are looking for devils and demons. And we think they are in hell. But they are sometimes sitting close to us or around us and we don't know verse 14 this is my anchor scripture we took sweet counsel we took what is it bitter counsel that means we talk very well. We even counsel each other. We quoted scriptures together. And we walk into the house of God. Please, what? Together, in company. I begin to ask myself, Jesus, why have you delayed in your coming? Then I knew why he delayed. The early disciples will say, Maranatha, he comes. Maranatha, he comes. The reason why we no longer have Maranatha in the mouth and the lips of Christians is because there is wickedness. We speak in tongues 
and we do wickedness. We pray and we do wickedness. We fast and we do wickedness. I'm sorry, I'm a man of God. But I want to say this. The greatest people who will miss heaven might not even be members. It might be pastors. The ones who climb the altar. Who minister from the altar. The leaders in the church who serve in the lady councils. Because I have seen that the reason why it's so difficult to win more souls in this end time. The altar has been polluted. The altar has been broken. The utterances are lectures. The words are hypocrisy. The hearts are far. The soul are tied to wickedness. The spirit of the Lord has left the church. Ichabod has actually taken place. And that's why sometimes the Lord is in a hurry to take the few righteous one. You call it death. But God is calling, God is just trying to take the few one that are righteous before they become corrupt. I'm not afraid if God called me home now. I'm not afraid. The reason is because I have seen in Nigeria the highest amount of churches in Nigeria in the world, when you want to talk about the growth spiritually, is in Nigeria. God indeed loved this country. Without apology, there is wickedness in the body of Christ in Nigeria. The ones who preach holiness are vampires. The ones you think are righteous, they have so much scheme it, you will never see blood in their mouth. Their hands are so pure. They can make an angel look like a devil. And they, with the black garment, they look like angels. My mother of blessed memory. Each time she comes around, or I go around, and she wants to pray for me. She will pray one prayer. And I don't know the meaning of the prayer. One day, after she finished praying, she said to me, um, Joshua, holy moi, did him of him and bad rough when I buy You don't know the reason why I pray for you like this. And what is her prayer? Ayo ni moe. The people of the world will not capture you. She will pray the prayer. She will sometimes pray it and cry. I will say, I'm me. Well, the last time she made that prayer, I said, Mama, why are you always? Just only more. You cannot know. Are you shani mue? And I pray. Each time I pray that prayer now, I turn into a prayer because <laughs> there's no prayer my mother pray. She will put that prayer point inside. So I know that is prophetic. If you do it well and you are running and you never stumble, it's not because you are intelligent. It's because can I feel you cry? Won't 
Wabajeni olodurani Akisalwa Wabajeni olodurani Ati masiregu Wani duo Eshe It is the body of Christ who will leave the devil and fight themselves. It is the body of Christ that can protect an abalis and kill a prophet. It is in the body of Christ that when souls come to the church and the church increases, another pastor gets angry. He no longer sees the increment of souls in the church as the gospel has been preached and so has been won for the kingdom. It is in the body of Christ that one pastor wants to be better than the other and we do anything to kill the other. It is in the body of Christ we have people whose hearts have been so polluted the flocks are no longer fed with the word of God. We don't feed them with God's word. We feed them with the spirit of maliciousness, denomination, partition. We have become separatists in the body. It is in the body of Christ. You can walk to the mocks and pray and not feel afraid. But you can stay around pastors and be afraid to be poisoned. Sometimes I wonder <laughs> the heaven we go to. Wickedness is so high that some people will hate a prophet in his lifetime even after God has called him home. They will hate him. And then they will hear you hear them talk about eternal life, salvation. They make altar calls and invite souls to Christ and even cry on the altar. And yet, they can't forgive a man whom God has called like them. Sometimes I ask, who are we deceiving? Are we deceiving ourselves? Or are we deceiving who? I weep for the church that we have in our generation. We have removed the ancient landmarks. We have killed the virtue of love. We have turned hatred to holiness. We have turned division to love. We have turned name calling and criticism as a words of righteousness. We have become bitter that we have made ourselves the Holy Spirit and the chief judge of the church. Maranatha. I pray he comes quickly. Now I now know why he has delayed in the timing because there might be no church might just be few that will make it. I'm not going to be shocked when we get to heaven and I see many members in heaven and I see many bishop, prophet, pastors, apostles, teachers in hell. I will not be shocked. Now I know why. It's only in the body of Christ that a general can be injured and we will take cutlass to kill him the more. The love. Is not there. It's only in the body of Christ. We will punish a man. That God has forgiven. It's only in the body of Christ. We cage a soul. That God has set free. It's only in the body of Christ. We have fathers. Who preach. One thing and do. The other thing. Maranatha. Truly, the Lord comes quickly. Now I now know the world has become the church and the church has become the world. Now I now know that it is not in our eloquency, in our powerful preaching that makes us men of God. Now I now know it's not in our singing and songs and dancing 
that makes us genuine children of God. I now know why Jesus said, by their fruit, you shall know them. Not by their association, their clique, and which father they submit to. But it was thou, in man, my equal, my guide, my acquaintance. So it means, I don't even think you can even fight me. The enemy of a doctor is a doctor. The enemy of a policeman is a policeman. The enemy of a pastor is a pastor. And when Jesus said a man's enemy shall come from his own household. 